How are we doing everyone? Sam here with United Rewind, the fourth episode of United Rewind. We're coming in after Man United's win against Huddersfield at the weekend. There is lots to talk about, including Paul Pogba versus Jose Mourinho, Alexis Sanchez making a little kid's dream come true, Scott McTominay, Eric Bae, Juan Mata, VAR, Sevilla, loads to talk about. Let's get into it. First things first, this whole Jose Mourinho and Paul Pogba situation. We all know Mourinho, he clashes with players. He has done throughout his whole career and he looks like he's clashing with Pogba right now, who, let's be honest, in his last couple of games hasn't played that well. Taken off against Newcastle, he was taken off in a previous game as well. And Mourinho had commented saying, look, we all know that Paul Pogba hasn't been playing well in his last couple of games. But going into the match against Huddersfield this weekend in the FA Cup, Paul Pogba was defended by Jose Mourinho because he was not happy with everything that was being said in the press. So when asked about the speculation by the media, Jose Mourinho said, I think you are nice with your words because you say a lot of speculation when you should say a lot of lies because I accept and I can speak on Paul's behalf and Paul accepts that he's not been playing well in the last few matches. But that's all. And if you want to speak about it, then that's one thing. And your word speculation makes a little bit of sense. But the majority of the things that you can read and you can listen, don't be nice, be objective and say lies. Mourinho effectively saying, look, ignore the fact that Popper's not played well in the last few games. Ignore everything. I haven't fallen out with Paul Popper. And that, you know, the rumours are that Paul Popper is frustrated and angry with Jose Mourinho in the position that he's being used. Don't use me as a defensive midfielder, Jose. Let me play in a midfield three on the left like I did at Juventus. That's where you'll get the best out of me. That has been a speculation. Mourinho not having any of it, though. And then you look at Duncan Castles. We all know who Duncan Castles is. He is the mouthpiece of Mourinho and his agent, Jorge Mendes. Now, before the Huddersfield game, he came out and said, look, Paul Popper is angry at his position. He wants Mourinho to play him somewhere else. Castle's feeding the speculation. So it's coming from Mourinho's camp as well. But regardless of that, Jose Mourinho said that Paul Pogba would start and play against Huddersfield. He didn't start. He wasn't even in the squad. Paul Pogba pulled out on the morning of the game because he was ill. It's what Jose Mourinho had to say about that. He said, I don't care that Paul Pogba is not playing. I focus on the game and only the game since that moment. I will think about Paul Pogba after the match. And he went on to say that he only found out about it on the morning of the match. And for me, that instantly reminds me of Chris Smalling last year. When you look at the games against Swansea, Chelsea, Mourinho, he threw barbs at Chris Smalling because of an injury. He's effectively lambasting any player who, when they're not 100% fit, considers himself not fit and ready to play for Manchester United. That's not Mourinho's mentality. And he made that very, very clear in this Smalling situation. He complained about players who had an attitude that was cautious, 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 and about there being a difference between the brave who want to play at any cost and the ones for whom a little pain can make a difference. And maybe that's the same situation that's going on here with Paul Popper because he trained with the team on Friday. He was in the team, in the squad anyway, for Mourinho against Huddersfield, and he pulled out on Saturday morning because he was ill. Mourinho not happy about that. And then United played with a 4-3-3 with Matomane, with Carrick, with Matic. United fans have been crying out to play a 4-3-3. Not with three defensive midfielders though. Maybe that was a little slide dig from Mourinho towards Popper saying, look, I will play the 4-3-3, but not with you in the team. And don't be surprised if Mourinho would do something as childish as that, because Mourinho is capable of that. We all know that. As much as he is a good manager, he's very capable of things like that. So then what do I make of this whole situation? For me, something clearly isn't right behind the scenes, whether it's a full-blown fight or just some disagreements about positional play and where to play Pogba in the team. I don't know the extent of it, but clearly right now it's not working out. And Mourinho is a manager who will put his foot down and keep his foot there until the player bows to his will and accepts that situation. But I don't think Paul Pogba will. I think Pogba knows his strengths. You saw that at Juventus. He's a £90 million central midfielder. He knows that Mourinho needs to play him somewhere else to get the most out of him. So in this situation, I'd like to see a compromise. And the compromise for me clearly is playing three midfielders with Pogba being more advanced rather than the being in a midfield two with Matic and having to play deeper. But I don't think that includes McTominay and Carrick. I think that's Matic and Herrera sitting deep with Pogba just in front. But right now, something's not right with Pogba and Mourinho. What do you think it is? Let me know in the comments. But 
we need to get past it because we've got Chelsea coming up, we've got Sevilla coming up, we've got big, big games coming up and we need our big players. And there's none bigger and more important to this makeup of this team than Paul Pogba. So Mourinho, sort it out. Next talking point, VAR. Fuck me, that is a terrible, terrible system. A man 200 miles away took two minutes to decide that one matter's onside goal was offside. The lines were squiggly, written by a four-year-old on MS Paint. This system is shit. This system is not needed. I don't think anyway. You know, football is so sanitised. To try and take away any hint of controversy, it's going to be a boring fucking game. Next, you're going to ask away ends to keep their noise down because the neighbours, they might hear you. Kids are sleeping. Fuck that. VAR is an absolute shambles. And this has taken us a years to come into this system. Look how bad it is. Awful, awful system. Should have been 3-0 against Huddersfield, but that's not the point. The point here is that VAR is a shambles and needs to get sacked off straight away. I still can't quite believe that Alexis Sanchez is a Manchester United player. Again against Huddersfield, he was really influential. Fantastic ball over the top for Lukaku for his second goal. But for that first goal, Sanchez made a little kid's dream come true. Little kid ran on the pitch when Lukaku scored. Sanchez picked him up and let him celebrate with the team. I love that. I just wanted to shout out to Sanchez. Now, at this point in the season, I think we can safely say that Romelu Lukaku has been the best striker signing in the Premier League. You looked in the summer, Chelsea got Alvaro Morata because we didn't want him. Man United got Lukaku ahead of Chelsea. And then Lacazette, he joined Arsenal. Three big signings. But right now, Lukaku has scored as many goals this season as Morata and Lacazette combined. A player that so many people lambasted and said he was going to flop an XYZ at United. He scored 21 goals this year. He's on to score 30 in his debut season. He scored 20 or more Premier League goals in his last four consecutive seasons. Lukaku's fantastic goals against Huddersfield gave us the win. Clinical finishing. You need to get off Lukaku's case because he has been easily the best signing out of those three strikers. And for me, he's going to go on to score 30 goals. I said that at the start of the season and Lukaku is living up to it. Yes, he needs to improve in the big games, but he just needs to keep scoring goals. That's exactly what he did against Huddersfield. As United fans, we love seeing academy players come through. And you look at Scott McTominay, he's got lots of game time this season. He started again against Huddersfield in a midfield three with Carrick and Matic. But question marks have already been asked as to whether McTominay has got the quality to be playing week in, week out for Manchester United. If Paul Pogba was fit to play against Huddersfield, maybe McTominay wouldn't have played. But he's got a lot of game time this season. And Mourinho has put a lot of faith into McTominay. For me, he looks like a bit of a limited footballer in that he's not very adventurous. He's a sideways passer. He passes it backwards. He's a safe midfielder. And for me, he strikes me as a player who could grow into being a good squad player for Manchester United, a bit like Darren Fletcher, but not quite as good as Darren Fletcher because he was capable of starting week in, week out for United. McTominay strikes me as a player who can be at United for years, but I don't know if he's got the quality to really kick on and become a central starting midfielder for United week in, week out. I might be wrong with that. Let me know what you think in the comments. But for me, McTominay, as good as he is, I don't think he'll ever be a regular starting player for United in the future. Somebody who will be is Eric Bailly, and Eric Bailly has now returned from his injury. He came on for the last few minutes against Huddersfield. We've been without him since November after he had to have surgery and an ankle problem. We've had Jones and Smalling in defence. It's been a fucking shambles. Eric Bailly being back is so, so important. Ahead of Sevilla, ahead of Chelsea. United got big, big games coming up, and he is our biggest and best central defender. So to have him back, I'm absolutely buzzing about that. And you can tell as well that Eric Bailly is happy to be back. So welcome back, Eric. So that's it for this week's United Rewind. As I said, lots to talk about. Bailly, McTominay, Sanchez, Lukaku, Mourinho, Pogba, Huddersfield, Sevilla. Tons and tons of talking points. Let me know if there were any talking points I missed. VAR as well. Fuck that shit. Shit system. But anyway, let me know what you think about all the things I've talked about in the comments. As always, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. Take it easy.